Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, today I've got somebody who wants your friendship back. Okay, in the past, this relationship ended and it was final. It could have even gone to a divorce or if you live together, you know, splitting the assets, property. It literally severed. The relationship was over. I feel that the person you're connected into, the person who's on your mind the most, almost said, that's it, it's over. You know, no going back. I'm never coming back. It's never going to work. Okay. This person is now heartbroken. Okay. They are grieving over the past. They are literally replaying the events of the past, of your relationship together, the breakup, the things they said, the things they did, and they would like to meet up, okay? They'd like to, they'd like to be friends again. So I'm going to see where this one's going today. Um, it was a final break, you know, this wasn't just... Um, this isn't an energy of someone who was just dating for a couple of months. This is an energy of somebody you were in a long-term, possibly married type of relationship. And this person just said, no, it's over. I'm never coming back. Well, they're stuck in the past now. Okay, so something's going on at their end. All oh, that wanted to come out. Let's give these a good shuffle see what else wants to come out just while i'm shuffling these though if you would like a personal reading just click on the title it's all in the description box it will take you to the website and also the free relationship report and thank you so much for watching like i said i hope you're all okay whatever you're doing wherever you are right yep i want to be more than friends interesting that because I did a pre-spread today and I was shuffling my cards and the cards came out. So I thought, you know something, Keely, I'm going to take these cards. They want a meeting with you. I think they're probably talking to you in their head. They're probably practicing conversations or they're having conversations with you. I think what they would like to do is come forward and offer friendship, but they want more than that. They want to be more than friends. They're looking for you absolutely everywhere. I even feel today, and this is specific, that somebody could be going to the places that you go to to see if they can bump into you. Or if not, they are sh they're going on, I just heard, online space, a shared online space where you might be able to actually... See what the other person's doing, even if it's just through a friend of a friend, okay? It was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, I can see that from this past card. The relationship's over. No second chances. Boom. You know, somebody, and I'm getting today, it wasn't you. Somebody ended this and took it to the next level. Like I was channeling earlier divorce or I can just see the legal papers all being signed um you know furniture removed all, all that kind of stuff it was a massive massive sort of change for you but they are grieving they've got memories they've got memories wow let's just see what else they would like to say I think that's important today they're going to come in, I feel, at some point. I feel they will do. And offer friendship. But they want more than that. Okay, this isn't just friendship they want. They want to get back together. I left when things got hard. Yeah, they just legged it, you know. But they didn't take responsibility particularly, I don't feel. And they just literally, everything was just all carved up. I can hear the word carved up. Soul tie. I always feel connected to you. Oh, okay. They're looking for you. Okay, they're looking for you. They're trying to bump, excuse me. Oh, I've still got this horrible two week cold. They're still trying to catch your attention in some way. Okay. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Yeah, their ego. It was because of their ego and their pride and their stubbornness that they blamed you. Okay, they now know it was their fault. Now, for some of you, this might be too little, too late. Everyone's got free will. 
you know this is just the energy that's coming out but i will say today that if nothing else you take from this you know if you've moved on you don't want to go through because you know the grim reaper came out in the past this wasn't a particularly pleasant breakup but if you take nothing else from this reading today i do feel your your person's energy they've realized their mistakes okay they've realized their mistakes mm. they weren't happy the way things were with your relationship okay but i feel that they've realize now that this was their ego that wasn't happy i'm going to get my tarot deck out and have a look at those two yeah they've been, they've been trying to move on okay they've gone into a new chapter but for some reason because they've got a lot of regrets about this they wish it had never happened especially the way it happened it's almost as if you could have offered them friendship after the split or you could have offered them an olive branch and say, look, hey, you know, it didn't work out. But, you know, you're the better person. That's your energy. I'm going to try and be this better person now. Let's at least not be nasty with each other. But they didn't. They were very egotistical. You know, and I feel they blamed you because they didn't then have to. Um, they didn't have to look at their own faults. You know, it's so common. People always blame other people. Um because they don't, they don't want to take account. They don't want to take responsibility for their actions. But they weren't happy. Let's see why they weren't happy. What's going on here? And now I'm going to see why they can't move on. Okay, why, why they're not moving on. Okay, let's see why they're not happy, please. Why is this person not happy? What's the negatives here? What were the negatives? Money. <clears throat> yeah. They weren't happy with some money. They weren't satisfied with some finances. This person could have been obsessed about certain projects that didn't get off the ground or they were having to borrow money um, or they just didn't have enough money to do what they wanted. OK, there are some people who can stick at a relationship through thick and thin. Uh, what are those vows for, you know, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer? But I don't think this pe person liked the poor element. They wanted more. OK, they wanted more. I don't think they finished projects that they started personally. And there is also an element here of somebody who would have borrowed money <clears throat> or or taken drawdowns even. I don't know if drawdowns is an American word. Um, taken loans off a property, like a remortgage. But they wanted money. They wanted this lifestyle. They wanted a particular lifestyle. They chased the dollar or the moolah or the money. But that's what they wanted. OK, that's what they weren't satisfied with. They were very stubborn, very, very, very stubborn. And they were just totally obsessed about money, money. OK, why? Let's see what's going on in the environment. Because they're trying to move on, you know. You could have, you could think they've moved on. Um, I just heard on social media it could look like they've moved on. But why are they not moving on? What's going on, please? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Somebody here tried to move on with another person, okay, or into another situation. Because I've got the Knight of Cups with this other court card, I'm actually feeling it was more of a romantic situation today. And those who watch me, you know, I will always say, look, it doesn't have to be third party. But I do think this was a romantic situation. Somebody tried to move into. But it's turned cold, okay. Whoever your person is with... It's just cold, all right? It's not, there doesn't seem to be, I think it was quite a, almost like a love bombing connection to start with. When you and your person and this other person got together, there was a lot of, you know, intense, I love you, I want you, I need you, you're the best thing, you know, that kind of energy, all very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. I think your person got carried away. Possibly this person offered more money. OK, 
But now it's turned cold. The communication between you, sorry, between your person and somebody else is cold, okay? Somebody's even not talking. There's a silent treatment going on in, in your person's environment. Also, their feelings for you are causing a problem, okay? I think the other person they connected in with is jealous of the longe longevity of your relationship. It's like you just keep popping up. Okay, you keep popping up. And I can tell you why today. Because there was never any real closure. There was never any real closure. It's almost like your person, when they went to this new relationship, they brushed you under the carpet. Almost like you were in the past and... It didn't exist, or if they weren't doing that, then they were blaming you for for the breakup. But the other person they're now involved in is not happy about this. You, you although you're not there physically, you're in that relationship. Your name keeps being mentioned, and your person knows they've reached a crossroads now. They want to talk to you, they want to speak to you, they want to even just reach out to know if you'll still be their friend before they make a decision, okay? They literally just want to know, has your relationship ran out of road, okay? But you are literally popping up in their new relationship, which is causing problems, okay? The person they could have gone to could be an air sign, Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that might narrow it down a bit for you. But the problem is there's just a soul tie with you. They were meant to meet you. You were part of their life's journey. I mean, I, I believe that we, we are destined to meet certain people on our journey. And this, is that, this reading is about that. You were meant to meet this person. Um... It was part of your journey and part of their journey. But it's not over in your person's mind. It's not over in your person's heart. Okay. I feel the other person they're with knows that they're still in love with you. Okay. And like I say, this is causing arguments. It's causing... I heard the word stony silence. Okay. Okay. And, you know, tarot aside, that is so common and people do pick up on energy. You know, your person obviously is thinking about you a lot. I, I just see them gazing into space and, and this other person they're with knows that. They, they can sense it. Okay, they, they can sense it. So, right, let's see what they're going to do. Let us see what they're going to do. What are they going to do, please? Are they going to do anything? Yeah, I think they will come forward. Yeah, they're holding on. They're, they're, right, okay. Just have one more. All right. Yes and no. I think eventually... Eventually, eventually, they will come forward. They're holding on to this connection. Okay, They're going over all the effort that, that you all put into this connection in the past, how hard you worked, how, you know, you went through some tough times at the beginning of your relationship, but you always backed each other up. And it's almost they, they really do regret chasing the the dollar it's almost as if you were so close to breaking through with something you could have been close with your finances a business something in the physical you were very close but they just couldn't wait they, they didn't they, like i say they they just ran off it got hard okay with regard to you at the moment they know that they would have to put a lot of work into this okay they know they would have to put a lot of work into this. They are very fearful and very upset that it's gone too far. You know, a bit pity party energy. I feel eventually 
they will come back into your life though. Yeah, they will do. They will come back in eventually. Okay, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're going to have to do something about it. Okay, they're going to have to do something about it. They know to get past all the upset that they caused. Like I say, for some of you, I don't even think you saw this coming. You might have thought the relationship was going south. But the brutality of the ending, I don't think you saw or felt that coming. The way it literally just ended like it, it you know great big cut they know they to hold on to you or to come back in they have got to put some work in okay they're going to do that though i feel they are going to come back in in the future um but they do realize the upset they've caused they realise the upset they've caused. It's quite a deep energy I've got with that upset, so that's why I'm kind of pausing a bit because I I feel it's a very deep upset. Yeah, their new beginning and the way they just took off and were totally materialistic, it's like they were just obsessed with money and wealth and property and, and you you know, kind of all that stuff. The new beginning caused so much upset and you were so close to having it all. But there's your energy. It's you, it's all you. There's your energy at the top of the deck is the unknown. King and Queen of Wands. <clears throat> so you could also be fire as well. Aries, Leo, Sag. But there is a reconciliation or a meeting of minds or friends that will come in in the future here. Okay, there is going, uh, I feel for you at the moment, you're probably thinking, no, Keely, that is absolutely not gonna ever happen on my watch. But I do see that happening. Let's just get some advice for you. Get some advice for you, please. The lovers, there you go. Choice, it's a choice. You know, the lovers is all about, um, you know, love and, and all of that. But it's also a choice. And it's a big choice. Okay. You could be Gemini as well with the lovers. Or someone's a Gemini. But it's definitely a big choice that has to be made here. You know, your person's looking back at the past. But I can see you being quite reticent. And you've got one eye on the future. But this choice will have to be made. Okay. It is a very, very strong soul tie here. Very, very strong soul tie for whoever this is for today. Let's just see what other people's feelings are about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, other people think it's a fated connection. There's a lot of people around you who, who probably think it's a bit of a crazy connection at times. That, it was one heck of a ride with you two at times, to be honest with you, but they do feel it is a fated connection. And although there might be people around you who are not saying it, I think there are people connected into you or into your person who actually would not be at all surprised when this happens. Okay, they wouldn't be at all surprised when this happens. Let's just have one of these for advice. I think it's important today. But yeah, King and Queen of Wands. Yeah, your person knows they've got to build a solid foundation. They've got to get off their high horse as well. Okay, someone's got to get off their high horse here. They can be very stubborn. They like to do it their way. They think they know best. Um, I think they did have projects, like I said, in the past where they didn't take it seriously or they'd go so far but they didn't finish it or they didn't let it come to fruition. They were always in too much of a rush, always on to the next thing, always thinking, oh, well, maybe this will give me more or that will give me more. They know they've got to build, bring, ugh, bring in a solid foundation this time and they've got to compromise with you. I think your person, okay, it's their personality. 
And I think we all have traits of this. Sometimes we think to compromise is to be submissive. It's not. It's not. Your person has got to get out of their ego. King of Wands, you know, that card in the negative, it's all about ego, a bit self-centred, you know, very passionate about your own your own things, doing your own things and sort of recklessness. They have got to compromise. They've got to bring stability in. And they want to resolve this. There's a real mutual chemistry here. Which with the King and Queen of Wands, yeah, absolutely, there's chemistry. Those two sort of court cards together, very passionate, very sexual, very, mm, you know, a lot of, <laughs> can be a lot of arguing, um, a lot of arguing and making up. That's what I was getting a little bit early with it. It's a bit of a crazy train at times, okay? A bit of a crazy train relationship. You're either getting on really well I don't really see the silent treatment between you and this person when you were together. I see more like a lot of um, a lot of kind of arguing and then making up. Okay, let me just get this twin. I'm just going to get my twin twin flame deck out for this particular reading today. But like I say, it's as if they're sort of looking at you, but you're not quite sure. They're sure. When they finally come back in, they're sure. Okay, but you're not so sure. Twin flame, please, message. You are the only one who manages to calm down. Calm me down. Gosh. Yeah, this person is hot-headed. I do actually think I'm reading on fire signs today. They're all very hot-headed, impulsive, reckless, great fun. But you calm them down. It's much like you rein them in. You know, they do have a tendency to run. Things get hard, they've gone. They've just gone. You are so different from anyone I know. You know. This other person they've gone to, it's not the same for them. It's not the same at all. I think this other person they've gone to does use the silent treatment, okay? I think they do use the silent treatment. And I think they do just use the silent treatment. Whereas your person with you, it wasn't like that. It was more, you know, two bulls will clash sort of thing. Hot air, said what you said, bit of door slamming. Um, but then make up afterwards. Yeah. The last message, when I look into your eyes, the whole world stops and I forget where I am. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you. You give them optimism and you give them life. That's what they're missing, okay? Sometimes you have to leave a situation, and I think that's true today, before you realise what you've lost, okay? The person they went into a relationship with it was all very dreamy very lovey-dovey very you know you know text messages every two minutes and sort of really lovey bomb bomb type relationship but it doesn't have the passion it doesn't have the passion that your relationship had so i shall leave that one with you like i say you've got free will you will have a choice i feel it's your energy you will make the choice some of you, I can see you're sceptical, you're looking at the future, you're just starting to get yourself together. It's almost like your own future starting to blossom. But I do feel intuitively and psychically that you almost know that this person is going to bounce back into your life at some point. So take good care. Speak to you soon. Bye.